All right, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss unit conversions. And really, the name of the game here is really whenever you're doing a unit conversion, or at least whenever I do, the basic tool or principle that I'm using is the fact that any number can be multiplied by 1, and you just get that same number back. And really, I say any number, but really anything, any variable, any function, you multiply by the number 1, you just get that same thing. So recall, um, multiplying by 1. So for instance, we could take the number 3, multiply it by 1, you get 3. We can take the variable x, multiply it by 1, you get x. We can take the function x cubed, multiply it by 1, get x cubed. And right now you're already super bored, you're like, duh, I can multiply by 1 and get the same thing back. Um, but it turns out that whenever you're doing unit conversions, you're just using this basic fact. It just looks more complicated. Because the key here is that here I'm just writing the number 1 as 1, but you can think of representing the number 1 in lots of different ways. So let's think about ways to represent the number 1. And you can form different ways of representing the number 1 by starting with any basic equation. So today we're talking about units, so let's think about some equations involving units. So for instance, we know that 1 um, foot is equal to 12 inches. Now when I say 1, I really mean the pure number 1. This 1 foot is something that has units, so it's, it's different from the pure number 1. So I want to form the pure number 1 from this equation. And how do I do it? Well, it's really simple. I could divide both sides by 1 foot. So I could divide by 1 foot. And then from this equation, I see that we get 1 on the left-hand side. So we get 1 is equal to 12 inches divided by 1 foot. So now we have a new way of representing the number 1. Now I could take 12 inches divided by 1 foot, this ratio, plug it in for 1 to any of these equations, and the equations are still true. Um, interestingly, I decided here to divide by uh, 1 foot, but I could have divided both sides by 12 inches. So had I done that, so let's start with 1 foot equals 12 inches. Now we divide by 12 inches on both sides. And again, so these are canceling here, right? So we just get this equals 1. So we have 1 equals 1 foot divided by 12 inches. So whenever you have two quantities that are equal to each other, their ratio simply gives you the number 1. And so whenever you're doing unit conversions, you're really just using this basic fact. So let's move on and actually do what we're here to do which is some unit conversions. So examples. So one. Let's try um, converting 90 miles per hour, some speed, to meters per second. So to meters per second. How can we do this? And this is a good example because in your introductory level physics classes, you should always be working in SI units. So if you ever have a problem that gives you something in miles per hour, you should automatically think, let me convert that to meters per second. So let's do this really quickly. So we have 90 miles per hour. We want to find what this is equal to in meters per second. So all we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by the number 1. And we want to think about multiplying it in such a way that the miles are going to somehow cancel out and we're going to end up with meters, and the hours are going to somehow cancel out and we'll end up with seconds. So let's imagine, so we'll start with this. We want to multiply it by the number 1. So let's deal with the hours first. So we know what are some things, some unit conversions we know about hours, some sort of equivalencies like we wrote up here. Well, we know there are in one hour, there are 60 minutes. 
So that is the number one here that we're multiplying by. Um, but that gives us minutes, we want seconds, but we know happily one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this again, this ratio is really just a representation of the number one. So this is where we're doing pretty well. The hours, sorry, I changed my notation. The hours will cancel with hours. The minute will cancel with minute. We'll end up with seconds on bottom, which is what we wanted. Then finally, to get rid of the miles. So let's see, it's like 1,600 meters in a mile, approximately. M for meters, MI for miles. So that's good. Our miles cancel out. Um, and then we can just multiply through. And if I plug this into a calculator, approximately, you end up with 40 meters per second. So you see all of the units canceled with each other, except we were left with right here, the meters and the seconds. Um, and so we end up with something of units of meters per second. And so as I said, when you're thinking of unit conversions, what you should really be thinking about is the fact that you're really just taking some number, multiplying it by one multiple times, and then canceling out your units. So let's do one more example. Um, so let's say your problem statement is how many meters do you travel um, in 60 seconds at, and you're driving at 10 miles per hour? So this is your question. Really, I would recommend right away, you should probably just convert this to SI units, and then everything would work out better. But let's say you didn't do that. You're just sort of blindly powering through. So distance equals velocity times time equals so 10 miles per hour times time 60 seconds and this is 600 mile seconds per hour and you're like this is a distance <laughs> I don't know how to measure this I could not get a rule I could not check this at all because this is some crazy unit it is a unit with dimension of length it is a length um, but it's a crazy one that would be really hard to measure and verify. So we want to convert the units on this, and we want to end up in, uh, in meters. So we really want to get rid of um, the miles. We want to convert those to meters again, just like we did up here. And we need to cancel out the seconds with the hours. So we, again, multiply by one a couple times, about 1,600 meters in one mile. That cancels these. And then just for brevity, one hour is actually equal to 3,600 seconds. So you could also do that more readily. Hour cancels with hour, seconds with seconds, which is good. Now we're going to end up with something that uh, has units of distance, like obviously units of distance. Um, and this, again, is approximately 300 meters. All right, um, so hopefully you found that helpful. Again, the name of the game um, when you're thinking about converting units is just multiplying by one, which is really multiplying ratios of two things that are equal to each other. So thanks for listening.